G'day and welcome back to Duxilla Gaming and Hort Belleron here in France. Yes, we are back continuing on as we have some of the balloons, top, hot air balloons going over the top of our farm. Uh, we are going to be flat out today. We are back into March, March the 1st. Um, we didn't have anything going on during the winter months uh, apart from some production being uh, done. Um, and there just wasn't enough to do much of the way videos. So we just skipped ahead. I know, I know. Didn't get to see the little bit of snow we had for one day. But hey, that is what it is. We're all about getting stuff done. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, let's have a look over here at our grapes. Um, our grapes are growing, which is fine. So nothing to do here. We do need to look at starting to seed because now here we are. So we need to get soybean, sorry, sunflowers into the fields. Um, now I'm going to put sunflowers in field 44, 37, 39 and 42. Uh, it's going to be purely sunflowers. And then field 40, we are going to put in sorghum. Uh, so that'll be a little bit later on. Uh, and then we've got uh, in field 41, we've got canola growing. And that's what we're going to replant. We're going to plant canola back in there. Now, I have had a bit of a think about expansion. Uh, the next plot is not going to be this one at 792. The next plot will be this one at 465. So I need to get 465,000 and we'll get this plot of land up here. Um, and that's where we're going to go to expand. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get this seeded. So we're going to get the hired hand to come out and get us seeding. And we've got a whole pile of production stuff we need to get rid of as well and make some money. So um, we're going to do that. That's our priority to make some money today. So what we are going to do is I'm going to grab the Zerion here. Um, we are going to start our engine. We're going to go grab the cedar and we are going to uh, I'm going to take the trailer off first. We're going to go get some seeding done. Um, so we want to get that done as quick as we can. So I think the cedar is over here on the other side, which it is. Uh, so we're going to get that done. Now we have got the McCormick there as well. He's uh, ready to be repaired. We need to do some repairs on him. We need to fill up the tank on him as well. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just going to make sure we can seed with this. Uh, so there we go. Um, there we go, sunflower. And we've got a full load of fert and seed. So we are good to go. We're going to head straight over and just get working. So, all right, let's, uh, let's crack on. So I hope you're enjoying uh, the series. I um, hope you're all well. We are... Um, concentrating on getting our next set of crops done and make some more money and expand and all that sort of stuff um, but uh, we'll see how things go here now what I want to do is it's going to be a pain isn't it he's not going to deal with that very well so what I'm thinking I'm just I'm just going to let let him have at it I, I am I'm just going to take him up here and just say right do your best do your boots off you go unfold All right, and we'll line up. Set for sunflowers, and we're just going to get you to go. And you're going to go, and you're going to seed. There we go. It's going to take him a while. It's a very slow seeder. So anyway, we'll, we'll get that going. Right. In the meantime, I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab. I'll grab the Voltra because we've just repaired it and fueled it and everything else. Um, so we'll get him up and running. I'm going to head over to the production area where our uh, sheep, uh, sorry, sheep, our chicken, our greenhouses, our grape facility, and our new oil facility are. And we're going to start uh, loading up the trailer over there and we're going to go sell some stuff. Uh, let's take a short play over here before the traffic comes through. All right. So you'll see there's plenty of stuff over here. We've got our grapes have been all piled up. Um, we've got uh, a whole pile of things. See there, the greenhouses, except for the lettuce, um, have been churning out the product. And we've got some oil over here ready to go as well. So, uh, and we've got one pallet of eggs. But I'm going to leave the eggs there. I'm not going to get those, or else Upsy will have a little bit of a heart attack with the fact that we're, we're holding down uh, the eggs and we've got other stuff on top of it. So I don't want to give him a conniption. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, uh, in fact, what I might do. Um, yeah, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the grape first. So I'm going to um, unload all that there. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to go and get a load of grapes. Or grape juice, more to the point. 
and uh, we're going to take this over and sell this first. So there we go, loading up. Okay, come on. Secure those. So there's almost a full trailer load of grape juice. I'm just going to come up here and turn. Now there was a bit of a back pile or um, back pile, um, a load of uh, grape juice that wasn't uh, out of the factory. That's what's been filling up. But seemingly now we've collected all that. I will come over here and grab what is over here now. Then you can see our uh, NOLA oil over there. Turn that off. There we go. Right, so belt's back on. There we go. I'll go over here and go past our oil facility. See the oil sitting there ready to go. So that's ready to be sold. So we'll come and grab that on top of one of the loads a little bit later. But we'll go and get this, uh, this offloaded and uh, make some money. Go. All right, so what have we got? We've got 12,000 litres of grape juice and we've got 1,000 litres of tomato. So we've just got the one, uh, two cases of tomato. So uh, that's all good. And we'll, uh, we'll see what we can get from the shop for those. So come on, I think I can, I think I can. All right, hope you're all doing well, like I said before. We, um, we're enjoying our time here on Hort I must, I must say, like I said before, we're um, we're enjoying our time on this map. Uh, in fact, I probably should go see if there's any other cell points. Let me have a quick look. Uh, very quickly, very quickly. Come on. Um, grape. No, just the one place. The lettuce. Yes, that's all. It's all at the one place. Oh, I, I go to the bakery with the strawberries. Uh, um, I haven't got any chocolate. How do I make chocolate? Hmm. I we'll have to look at that. That'll be milk, though. Um, straw. Yeah, okay. Grass. Don't care about the grass so much. Uh, still got some soybeans. And we've got some sorghum there. But that's okay. We're going to keep the sorghum because that's going to be for feeding our, our chickens at the moment. I don't think we've got any wheat left. I think we used all the wheat. So um, that's what we'll do with that. But nonetheless, we shall uh, head off. We'll sell all this. We'll then come back and get all the stuff at the greenhouses. I think we've probably got two trips from the greenhouse stock um, to sell, and we'll just take all that up to this, up to the uh, the shop up the hill, and um, we'll just get what we can for it. And hopefully, um, we can uh, make a decent amount of money. See, look, I, I keep I keep mentioning, it, but just look at how pretty uh, the layout is this this uh, this map. Let's have a look in here. So yeah, this is where I think Giants have done well. I think they've really sort of stepped up their game, uh, so to speak, um, in the look and the feel of the map. I mean, I, I think it's um, I think it's a, a vast improvement. I, I would tend to think, possibly by looking at it, maybe they've got a couple of different um, people to make their maps for, for this iteration of Farming Sim. Because um, certainly, uh, I, I think the standard of the maps both this and Elm Creek has uh, improved substantially. Uh, I, I must also say, I, I guess Erlengrat in 19 was a bit of a step up as well. Um, I haven't really played a lot on that map, um, which was surprisingly enough, I should, probably should be because a lot of the grass and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I, I think that was an improvement, certainly. The, the two maps certainly that came out with FS19 were, to me, um, a disappointment. I, I didn't enjoy those maps at all. Um, and with FS17, um, there were nothing to write home about, but they were okay. I mean, uh, Goldcrest was okay. I didn't mind Goldcrest. But again, it was fairly fairly plain, wasn't it? So, but anyway, all is good. Anyway, so everyone should be nice and happy out there. Carmsden Farm was released a few days ago um, when I'm recording this. And uh, seemingly it has uh, become very popular. And look, it, it, as I said before, it's a great looking map. I, I have had a look at the map and had a bit of a play on it. Um, due kudos to Oxygen David, it is a fantastic looking map as would be expected. 
um, is just not uh, not for me. I, I don't know what it is. It's just I don't think I think it's only been the one map so far from Oxygen David that's really sort of resonated with me. In, and that was one in seventeen, I think, nineteen. Anyway, um, I, yeah, I've just I just not been to his in, into his maps unfortunately. And and so Carmston Farm is certainly again not one that um, really interests me at this point in time. So. Uh, I probably won't be playing that, but I've got Riverview running, um, and I've got uh, Port Bella on and Elm Creek. So for the moment, that's uh, that's more than enough for us here. All right, what are we up to? Come on, get rid of the last of the tomatoes. It's a good payday by the look of it. Come on, sixty thousand. Not bad. Do I need to get that and take that off myself? Seemingly so. You're going to be obstinate. Oh, come on. Seriously? Come on, just sell it. What's it doing it? By by individual tomato or something. Let's move this up a little bit. You gonna sell it off now? Come on. Thank you. Right. So, yeah, that wasn't a bad payday. So that's okay. All right. Now, back to the greenhouses. So our hired hand will still be busy uh, seeding, which is good. And we're just going to do this carting job and uh, make the farm some money. And uh, as we almost tip the trailer over. And uh, we will then um, see how close we are to uh, expanding the farm. We'll be miles off. Let's let's be honest. But what I do need to do, what I want to want to do, is look at buying a slightly bigger cedar because the cedar we've got is only uh, six meter width, whatever it is. Um, so we do need to look at doing it. In fact, no, he's not seeding. What's he doing? Right. What's he done? This is this is where. Oh, he's out of fertilizer. Seriously? Oh man, this is going to take us ages, isn't it? Right. Let's um. Let's uh, sort him out. Hence why I want a bigger cedar. This thing is just ridiculous. In fact, you know what? Let's just let's just bite the bullet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get rid of this right now. I am going to trade it in. I am then going to see how much it is for a cedar, and we're just going to buy a cedar. And if I have to take a loan out, I will take a loan out, and I'll pay that back once we sell off all this stuff in the greenhouses. Um, because this is just redonkulous. Right. Oops, wrong button. Uh, we are... Uh, yeah, just sell it. No! Oh, phew, I thought I sold the zero on there for a minute. All right. All good. Now, what we sell that for? Not much. Um, okay, let's go find a cedar. Now, I just want a planter. Uh, Kinsey. That's 12 metre. Uh, it's a non-fertilizer. Is it a fertilizer? No, non-fertilizing, which is fine. Um, 139, though, isn't it? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, they're all expensive. Let's have a look. Uh, planters, cedars. Uh, I can't do sunflower with these. I just want to have a look at the pricing though. 120 for coon. Hold off. Yeah, coon. Yeah. Actually, there was a special. Oh, I've missed it. Damn it. There was a special for a cedar the other day. All right. Um. Okay, back in here. Cedar. Uh, what have we got here? So, uh, da, 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 da. 
109,500. Now that's six meter width. Okay. Um, that one there's a 12 meter width. $65,000 extra though. Um, bum, 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 bum. Come on, duck, hurry up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know what? I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this bloke. So I need a loan of 10,000. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, Mr. Bank Manager, please, please, please. I'll get 20. Right. Now we're going to uh, buy that cedar. Now this is a Stevie cedar. It does. It is going to run um, a lot quicker. So this one runs at 26 kilometers an hour. So instead of getting a huge, uh, big one, this this will work. This will work just as well. So we're going to buy that uh, capacity. Oh, the, oh, that's right. I've got extension. So what's that? 10,000 litre of seat. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Uh, oh, there's two options. So 4,000 or 10,000. Let's go 10,000. Why not? Uh, design colour. I want to go to my lovely beige. I'm going to go beige and I'm going to go rim colour black. There we go. So it's been personalised. And we're going to go um, the usual. Okay, and we're going to buy. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, we have got some seed here we bought previously, so we'll start filling that up with that. Uh, however, we are going to need a lot more than that, aren't we? All right. So, uh, it's okay. Didn't really plan on doing this, but you know what? It's just a necessity now. Oh, it does take fertilizer as well. Okay. Bonus. Okay, first partial bag of seed. We've got 600 litres of seed now. Great. Okay. The other bag of seed in. We've got some fertilizer there. Right, there we go. Clear that out of the way as well. All right, let's go to the farm. We're going to fill up. Uh, as best I possibly can. I don't know how much it's going to cost us as well, but anyway, we just need to uh, get that done. We may have to hold off on the rest of the um, the seeding plan until we sell off some more uh, of our what's name there. Um, anyway, that's just what we're going to have to do. All right. Cover still off, which is fine. So we'll come up. Well, take this off the right way okay yeah okay that's a problem um no you know what let's just do it all right <laughs> another 15 so what's that we borrowed thirty-five thousand. right so with the next side we're going to get rid of all that so oh there we go right we full now there Right, now we're full. Okay. Uh, put the cover back on. And we're going to head back out and get this guy seen. Now, what we need to do as well, because I tend to forget to do this all the time, is make sure we've got the right seed selected. Sunflowers, there we go. All right. Come through here. All right, this will this will become our go-to cedar, so we won't have to worry about getting another cedar for a long period of time now, because this is uh, going to be, while it's narrow, it's quick and effective uh, because of its speed. So um, while it's not going to do much more um, than we had previously, I'm just going to do this like this, lining it up. Um, it will be just as effective as having a bigger cedar that runs slower. So it looks like it's the same, exactly the same width as the previous cedar, so that's fine. Um, we're going to go helper on. And off he goes. Right. Thank you. Right, now, back to making money. Well, we left, we left in the middle of the road. No, no one behind us? No, we're all good. Right, so let's go get some uh, greenhouse sales done, and we're going to pay back that loan. Um, it was a short-term loan, high interest, so we'll, we'll get that part paid back very, very quickly. Hopefully. Right. Let's just go and get it done. 
anyway like i said we're not we're not cheating money in we're, we're going to make sure we're, we're doing loans and that where we have to um or selling other equipment off but um that was basically going to become a necessity because otherwise it's going to take us like six months to get the bloody field seated but anyway that's all right so we're going to come down here i'm going to grab um probably all the all of one part i'll probably get all this the, the tomatoes done first and then that'll probably be a full trailer pretty much um, and then we'll fill up with eggs and hopefully the oil we can probably put the oil in there as well and we'll take that off and sell that as well because that should give us a reasonable amount of profit as well uh, and then uh, what we'll do is i think with the sale of all this stuff we'll make sure we've got a, a capital of about twenty thousand left uh, but whatever we make from all these sales anything above 20 grand in, in the bank we will um, sell back off i uh, sorry sell back off we'll pay that back off the loan so um, we may better get some of the, the main loan uh, lowered a bit as well that is my plan And normally my plans go to shit, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. The lay of the land has really changed through here now with our, our production facilities and all that in here. It used to just be green meadow here. Um, whereas now that's that's nothing, nothing near the case. Might as well grab the strawberries. So we'll reverse up here, we'll grab the strawberries. I don't want to grab those strawberries. Fine, I understand. You're being very selectionist. Oh, as you can see, there's a stockpile there waiting for us. Further. So there should be a full trailer just from these by the way things are going. Must have had a fair bit uh, stockpiled up. I'm going to get caught here though, aren't I? Yeah, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. So what we'll do is we'll just come out here. Any more for any more? It'll wait till I've reversed in, I guess. The trailer's out of the way. Okay. Come out, we'll grab this one. Okay, that's almost a full. Yep, okay, what we'll do is we'll grab the leftovers that are over here now and we'll finish this load up. We'll take this up and then we'll come back in another load. Right, there we go. Right, so now we've got a full load again. So 14,500 strawberries and 500 tomato right let's go now i know we've spoken at length about my pallet handling skill especially on elm creek um but yeah you're not going to see that it's just the, the auto loader has become much improved to what it was. Um, it, it's probably still not perfect. I'd, I'd like it to be much the same as the FS19 version. Um, however, that's obviously not going to happen anytime real soon. So for the moment, uh, this is what we've got. And uh, it's working fine enough for me. So much akin to my good mate Frith. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be auto load trailers. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I know Frith. Fifth is basically in the grid swimming. At least one person is. Oh dear. All right.
I mean, really, you can't you can't complain with the view, can you? Driving to and from the store. Well, it's a bit of a shame they put that modern sign on top of that building. Don't think that really needs to be up there. It doesn't go with the lay of the land and the, and the buildings and that. It spoils it a little bit, but anyway. All right, so hopefully uh, we'll get a good bit of money for this. I would expect probably um, the range of about 30 grand thereabouts, guesstimates. Uh, I think that'll probably be around what we look at getting. Uh, if we get any more, that's fine. If we get any less, well, that's okay as well because it was only a guesstimate. But I'm thinking about 30,000 for this trailer load would be about uh, what we'd be looking at. Well, that grass in there. It's free grass. In fact, is it free grass? Is it viable land? Can I mow it? I might have to come and have a look and see. In fact, I might go around the, the map and have a look and see where I can get free grass from. Because there are there are areas where I can get free grass. I can just do the do the community a favour by mowing the grass in the areas that, um, that aren't owned. And um, I can take the grass, I can, I can use it for what I need to use it for. And, um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's helping out the community by keeping it uh, looking all nice and lush and green and, and tidy. So, um, yeah, I might have to come and have a bit of a look-see, I think. into the store and we have another delivery gonna be well stocked with uh, with items today I think, I've over, I think I've overestimated how much I'm gonna get from this as they all sort of start creeping off each other come on just finish your floating thank you yeah way way overestimated it's about 10 grand's worth 11, 11 and a half. Okay. So I can pay $1,729 off the loan. <laughs> uh, that's right. I've got, I've got more to do yet. It's okay. All right. <laughs> oh, gee. I was expecting to pay it off in the one load. So it's okay. So we've got, we've got all the, uh, what was that? That was the strawberries. We've got all the tomatoes to go yet. We've got a little bit of oil to go. So we've got some other stuff to get rid of yet. So it's okay. We've got a load, one load of eggs. Eggs are, eggs are very profitable. I think, I don't, I don't know if it, eggs are the most profitable, um, the standard fare of um, items to sell. I don't think it's as profitable as like the oil and stuff like that. But um, it certainly is a damn good profit for what you're getting out of it. Um, so... Uh, so you have to have a look at that. We just need our uh, chickens to keep breeding so we get more and more eggs. Of course, this is load number three we'll be getting. Now I'm going to put a poll up as well, um, in fact what I'm going to do is I might put a poll up for all three um, series and, and basically let you guys choose the brand of tractor that are next chosen for each of the series. So for instance I'll put a poll up for Hawk Miller on and it'll be okay so uh, which, which tractor brand do we next buy for um, for better on, and I'll, I'll dictate whether it's going to be a medium or, or large or whatever else. So just so you know what we're going to look at buying. So I think for for this map, uh, we'll probably look at upgrading to a another medium trailer. It, it just needs to be something with a little bit more punch than what the Voltra and the McCormick have, um, for instance. So we'll, we'll put a, a poll up to see what brands you want to see. Now. Where there is polls that don't list John Deere, then you know that's not an option because I know what my viewers are going to do. But anyway, 
<laughs> am I being a skeptic? No, I'm being a realist. Right, so anyway, we will come in here. Oh, we got some lettuce in now. But you know what I might do? I might just do this easy way. I'm just gonna drive straight in and then reverse back out. Because it's easier. We've got plenty of room on this one though. I'm not going to get to the bottom end, am I? Maybe. I did. Okay, that's alright. Okay. Now, yeah, let's uh, head back out. Hopefully without collecting any pallets that may arrive. Yeah, we're all good. Right. Go get some lettuce. Just to get a little bit of the the same thing with the lettuce, we just drive straight in. Throw it off, load it up. There we go, throw it on. Alright. And then now we'll go pick up the oil and the eggs. And then this will be the last load. For now. There'll be more loads in the future, obviously. There was one other pallet over here, wasn't there, we left behind. So, oh, we've got a... Ah, oh, nice timing. Thank you. We'll, we'll grab you as well. Right. Thank you. Uh, eggs over here. We might get a full load after all. Okay, eggs are on. Oh, it's going to be close to a full load anyway. Okay. And last but not least, I'm going to pick up this stuff. And this should hopefully give us a bit of a boost in relation to our sales so uh, we'll see how they go there we go so we've got a huge variety of stuff we've got 500 litres of strawberries we've got 4,000 litres of lettuce we've got 7,000 litres of tomatoes 432 litres of grape juice 3,000 litres of canola oil and 1,400 eggs alright let's go see what this can make us And this will be the, oh, actually, we're over time already. So this will be the last trip. So we'll do this trip. Uh, this will mean we can pay some of the money back for our loan. Uh, the Zerion has finished seeding for whatever reason. Uh, so we'll have to check that out. But we'll get we'll get this sold, and then that will be the end of the episode. So, uh, so yeah, we'll go from there. But anyway, so we'll start our signing off. Uh, and first off, I do want to thank our Patreons, our supporters of the channel. Uh, thank you very much. You'll be seeing their names along the bottom of the screen at some stage soon. Um, so as being a Patreon or a YouTube member, uh, your name will be on the bottom of the screen of all the videos. And uh, you'll occasionally get uh, little special surprises and that uh, sent to you in relation to uh, videos or outtakes or whatever else once we, we get them up and running. Uh, but uh, I do appreciate the support. So thank you very much for all that, uh, that do support the channel. Uh, don't forget, if you uh, like the video, make sure you press that like button because it helps us with the Google algorithm as well. And uh, that goes a long way to getting more people to the channel. Uh, and then more people to the channel means we get uh, a slightly better payment from, from Google. Uh, and I mean, that money's better in my pocket than what it is in Google's pocket, yeah? Anyway, <laughs> that's my opinion. But uh, yeah, and if you, do, if you do press that uh, like button and you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well, because that will make you aware of when new videos are available on the channel just like this. Oh, oh that was lucky. Almost lost it. The load, that is. I, I lost it many years ago. You asked my wife and everyone else. Um, we almost lost the load there. We're, we're okay for now. We'll continue on. Volt was struggling a bit. And this is why one of the things we're going to look at doing is, is upgrading our tractors as we go along as well. Um, we've had a couple of seasons with the Vulture now. It's, it's been a good workhorse for sure, but uh, we might look at upgrading it. I don't know. 
apple seed. Don't you dare come out. Oh, he was thinking about it. He was thinking about it. Here we go. And yeah, so what we'll do is, like I said, is at the end of the episode, after we, uh, we finish recording, um, we will pay back whatever we can off the loan. Obviously, it's in amounts of $5,000. Uh, up to leaving us with a balance of about 20,000, give or take, um, just so we can afford to put seed and fertilizer and all that sort of stuff in as we need to. Um, but other than that, we will basically uh, run skint, basically get everything done, and then hopefully we can make our money from the back end of the harvest with all of our crops. So, but anyway, we'll see where we This looks a bit more profitable, this one. We've already sold off the oil, and I think that gave us a big bump uh, in the profits there. So uh, that's a much better harvest and sale. Still going, come on. Much better. So that's 45,000 and that was mainly down thanks to the grapes and the canola oil. So in fact, we'll do it before we sign off. We go back in here. We are going to, we're at 67,000. So we are going to repay that loan back down to, like I said, about 20,000. There we go. So we've now cracked under 1.5 million. That's excellent. All right. So there we go. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll be back in the next episode where we continue on with uh, with seeding and everything else we've got to do uh, going forward. Um, we may be back in the same game day. We'll sort of see how things pan out. But until next time, Take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Hort Belleron. See you all later. Bye.